Well, you know I don't live with anyone. I don't have anyone here to record me to hold the camera. And I can't bear those selfie sticks. I did try one out once and I felt like I was being a bit false, I suppose. So the best I can do is take some photographs and then do a little introduction because I've been quite absorbed recently in not so much watching the news because I don't have television, but hearing about things and hearing about politicians and hearing about all the nonsense that goes with it. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that later on in this video. So, here we go. Well, good morning, everybody. I was walking through the gardens this morning and I was just so overcome with joy in everything that I saw, everything that I smelt, everything that I heard. I actually wept. Well, I say I actually wept. This is not an uncommon occurrence for me. Because Mother Earth moves me to tears, tears of simple joy, that I am blessed to be here. And I do believe that those of you who connect in this way know exactly what I'm talking about. Know exactly that beautiful emotion. And you can't control that emotion because it's rising up from the earth through your body and hitting you right in the heart. Heart warming. So here I am in the kitchen. I'm burning some wood on the stove and waiting for the kettle to boil. And you can just hear it begin to simmer. You're very welcome to be out in the cottage. So I'm removing the decking from this area outside the lodge because with the rain here in Ireland, the decking had become very slippy. But not just that, but there was some rot, <coughs> excuse me, setting in. And I thought once the gravel is delivered, which by the way is now delayed by a further week or so, um, all this area is going to be covered with a good layer of a lovely uh, yellow sandstone gravel right up to where the path begins to the arch. So this is what I've been getting on with, moving all the boards. Um, and you can see just on there, there's a, a bit of rot. <laughs> I'm, being, I'm being very mild with my language here, look right into the post so all this will have to be fixed so it's a good thing I start I started to uncover this you know because this was a problem which was just growing but anyway I'm looking forward to having it all graveled and it'll be a safe place to walk then after that well apparently the man-made world which I'm not a part of I live as a Celtic pagan. I live a very remote and distant life from the nonsense and the absolute nonsense that's going on everywhere. But apparently the man-made world is um, <clears throat> seriously looking at another war at this time. It could be the war to end all wars. 
But I'm not even going to talk about that. I'm just going to put it out there. My absolute disdain for all the nonsense that's coming out from these politicians who are supposed to lead us. In the old Celtic world, the leader had to be at the front. The leader had to do everything from the front. He had to lead, or she had to lead, because we had both. If you know about Queen Maeve, <clears throat> etc. But these people are obnoxious. Their children don't, don't go into this fight. You look at Iraq and Libya and... Syria and Afghanistan. <sighs> anyway, I, I'm just so full of disdain for everything that's happening because I'm 67 years old. I'm going to be 68 this year. And from the day I was born, there's been war happening somewhere in the world. I pour foul scorn on every political leader. That's all I'm going to say about it. So just to end this video, a brief walk and talk, which used to be the, um, the way I made all my videos in the past. Um, my YouTube channel <coughs> is being, shall we say, kept back it's been kept back by the algorithms um so it's very very difficult to even get any any notion of, of an increase in subscribers going because as soon as people subscribe there's um i might have maybe you know f plus five and then i get minus 10 then i get another maybe plus 10 and a minus 20 so it's kind of been kept back all the time because I'm not allowing advertising. You see, it's all about the money. Everything's about the money. So um, I'm getting a bit fed up with it, really. And um, I may just take a little break for a while and just let things settle and let my mind think about things and... I realise that there's a lot of change going on. I can actually feel that energy. You know, the energy coming from the earth is, is quite a quite a tense energy at times. And it's almost demanding. Um, it's demanding an end to this chaos. And the more time that I spend trying to just think about it and trying to rationalise things out, the more agitated I become. So I think perhaps it's time for a little a little breather, a little breather from from my social media platforms and just let things settle. And just spend a bit more time doing the stuff that I really need to get on with. For example, my website. I mean, I do this every so often, you know. I kind of think to myself, oh, the website. I need to work on that. But life, I suppose, over the past, what, three or four months has been pretty hectic. I mean, I, I know I've taken on a lot of work. I know that I've tried to get a lot of stuff done and I mean the work just continues it's quite full on and at times at times it can be a little frustrating because I get involved in too many too many tasks and it is difficult just at this point in time with all the chaos going on in the world and, and I'm not immune to it I'm not immune to it. it. It makes me so cross. It makes me so, so cross. Because I'm not a stupid woman. I went to university. Not that that is any measure of intelligence, especially university today. But 
I was always aware of how 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 the world worked at best. You know, in growing up during the 60s and the 70s, the world did work. And politicians had integrity and they had honesty. And if they were shown to not have integrity or honesty, they had the integrity at least to resign. To actually resign and, and to say in their resignation, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about the 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 way I behaved. I'm sorry about letting you down. But it would appear now that there's very little integrity. There's just a race to the bottom. And the art of diplomacy is completely gone. Imagine that there once was a world where there was diplomacy. Where regardless of what anyone did, the diplomats in each government spoke with each other, not at each other, but with each other and came to agreements. Every politician should be charged, in my mind's eye, should be charged with doing the very best for their country, for their people. You only have a country when you have people in it. Otherwise, it's just an empty husk. People are not being looked after. People are being dragged through the mill. They've been forced into poverty. They've been forced to swallow all the nonsense that's been spewed out on television. I see little bits of it and I get very angry and I don't want to be feeling angry. So forgive me if I've turned this into a bit of a rant, but sometimes, you know, you've just got to, you've just got to speak it like it is. You've just got to say it like it is. I have six grandchildren. I don't want them going up in a cloud of flipping vapour. I haven't worked my whole life to, you know, raise my children the best I could, turn them into good adults, you know, good people who would benefit the world. I, I didn't, I didn't make huge sacrifices. Well, which I did, actually. I made huge sacrifices to do that. Because for most of the time, I was a one-woman show anyway. I'm so, so terribly annoyed with politicians. I have seen politicians, the pool that they're taken from, turn into a, a, a muddy mess. You don't, you don't have, well, you have a very, very few, but my goodness me, I could probably count them on three fingers. Most politicians go into politics because of their ego, because they're narcissistic, because they're greedy. This is the kind of ilk that we have leading us now. And it's just... So forgive me if I retreat here at uh, Bealton Cottage for a little while and uh, maybe focus on my website. My website um, is not governed by any algorithms or anything at all. It is simply a place that's safe, that is my own, and um, is something that I pay for. I don't have any subscriptions for it or anything like that. People can join or not join. I don't allow advertising because it's mine. I have creative control over it. And it's just a safe place. So, 
Oh, there we go. That's my little, my little rant, I suppose. Blessings to you all, my friends. And have a lovely weekend. And if you can switch off from the chaos that's been deliberately created. None of this is accidental. None of it's accidental. I'm sure very few people know the real stories behind the news. But anyway, blessings to you all and um, hopefully I'll come back onto YouTube quite soon. It could be, it could just be a week or so, that's all. Blessings to you all. Just a little addendum. I've got my coat on, I'm actually going to go out shopping, I've got to go into Carrick. Please do not leave comments mentioning any politician's name. If you mention a politician's name, I'm going to make sure that that comment's taken down. Because it seems to be innate within us to keep defending certain politicians. Oh, he's okay. Oh, she's okay. As far as I'm concerned, they're all very much not okay. But I don't want names. So, blessings to you all. You can find my books on my website, bealtonacottage.com. A Cottage in Three Acres, In Search of the Goddess Rising, and Walk in Between Worlds, as well as the Bealtona Cottage Guide to the Deep Midwinter, and the calendar. The calendar is on special offer now. You can also get the map with it for free. So the links are all underneath this video in the description box. But the Bealtona Cottage website is filled with photographs and hundreds of blogs with no advertising. So do have a look over there and a good peruse. I think you'll find it's very interesting. A little view of Bealtona Cottage when I first bought the cottage. And this was the land looking up from the road and the land looking down from the cottage. Blessings to you all.